This is question 3, paper 1 from the 2014 National 5 Mathematics exam. We have a quadratic expression and we're asked to complete the square. We're asked to write it in this special form, which we should have a wee look at. Special form we're asked to write it in has two brackets that are identical. x minus a times x minus a plus a number. If we look at multiplying out a few examples like that, for instance, x minus 1 times x minus 1, or x minus 2 squared, or x minus 3 squared, and so on. This gives us x squared minus 2x plus 1. This gives us x squared minus 4x plus 4. And this gives us x squared minus 6x plus 9. And always this number here, 3, is half this number 6, this 2 is half the 4, and this 1 is half that 2. So this number a will be half of this 14. So our first step is to look at the expression x minus 7 squared and see how close we are to getting x squared minus 14x plus 44. So the easiest way is just to multiply out x minus 7 times x minus 7 using our firsts outsides minus 7x, insides minus another 7x, that's your minus 14x, and then the last negative 7 times negative 7 is plus 49. So if we multiply this out, if we square this expression out, we get our x squared, we get our minus 14x, but unfortunately we've got too many. We've got 49. 5 too many. So let's just take that 5 away. So we've now got exactly what we needed, our 44. So basically we've, we've got a minus 5 at the end there, which allows us to get our 44 that we wanted. So that's now achieved. So you'll notice that the value of a is 7 and the value of b is minus 5. But that's all that we were asked for. We weren't asked for the value of a and b. We were asked to write it in that form, which we've done.